yeah. Oh, welcome everyone. Adam the Woo here. I was just warming up my vocal cords. The last thing you want to do is go into a vlog at less than 110%. And when you're going to give it your all, you need to make sure that your nether regions of your throat neck mechanisms are working correctly. And now I am prepared to start the vlog. So let's start now, all right? Let's start it now. Let's start it. Let's restart it. Welcome, everyone. Adam the Woo here. Happy Tuesday to you. And I just thought of something in between the segue. It's Tuesday, and I'm wearing tie-dyed. So would that make it tie-dyed? Would that make it tie-dyed Tuesday? It's my second channel, Daily Vlog Channel. Did I already say that? It doesn't matter. I said it again. It's double or two tie-dyed Tuesday intros. <laughs> it's the Daily Woo. Day number 800. Four. Wait a second. Four plus four. Four plus four times 100 equals what? Child? Children? Chime in. What does that equal? 4 plus 4 is 8. Times 100 is what? 800. That's right. I heard you over there, ma'am. Or was that a child's voice that I just imitated? Anyway, somebody out there has given the answer 800. Today is 800 vlogs in a row. That is insane. In my mind, that is crazy. <clears throat> i got to clear my throat. Evidently, the vocal, pre-vlog vocal mechanism pre-production did not work correctly because my throat's a little sore a little sore today anyway 800 vlogs that's insane i have not missed an upload yet every single day for 800 days so that's pretty cool also what else is really cool i'm going to talk about an announcement that it's a big news story today apple is releasing the apple iphone 6 information I think it's going to be televised and on the radio. It's a big to-do. I, I want to know what you guys think about technology and cell phone usage and what cell phone you use. I happen to actually use Apple products. I have a MacBook because for me it's a lot easier to edit on a MacBook. I have a MacBook Pro that I got about a year and a half ago. The other laptop I had, which was not a MacBook, it was just like a really cheap regular desktop laptop always froze up on me when I was editing. It drove me insane. So I ended up getting a MacBook, a little bit pricey. Finally got it paid off a few months ago after about a year of being in debt on the MacBook. Got that paid off, which is really cool. I've always had an iPhone. I didn't actually have a cell phone to 2003. I was very anti-cell phone for a long time. In 2003, I got my first cell phone. It's one of those little flip phones, just a normal little tiny phone through AT&T. And I think I got... The very first iPhone I got was probably about four or five years ago when the iPhone 3 was out. How many years ago was that? I don't really know. But right now, I have the iPhone 5. Look at this. iPhone 5. Right there. So basically, I have the iPhone 5. Did not upgrade to the 5S that came out last year or six months ago or whatever it was. But I have the iPhone 5. But I've heard this iPhone 6 is going to blow everything away. Of course, a lot of that's just hype. You know, Apple hypes their product. People hype their products. It's such a big to-do. I'm looking forward to the newscast later that Apple is going to announce. Of course, Steve Jobs was the master of coming out and displaying the new Apple products. Now there's another guy taking over that's going to be showing off the Apple wares. But I am excited to see that because I'm going to have to upgrade. I'm actually available for an upgrade where I don't have to pay the full price for the phone because I'm a loyal, I guess I'm loyal, I'm a loyal customer to AT&T since 2003. They give you that option of upgrading phones. It's still very expensive, but not as expensive as paying the thousand dollars or whatever it would be to get a new phone if you didn't have the plan. Also, I got grandfathered in, whatever that means. I don't know if I look, maybe, do I look like a grandfather? I guess maybe I do. Grandfather Woo! I've been grandfathered into AT&T's unlimited plan, which is cool, because I don't actually honor that anymore. If you go to AT&T now, from what I've heard, 
you cannot actually get unlimited data anymore. You got to pay for data based on how many megabytes, gigabytes, excelibytes, or whatever it's called, gigawatts. I don't know why I had to throw that in there other than I'm always thinking of Back to the Future. But basically, I have unlimited data, so I will never change from AT&T or downgrade, even though every time I try to go upgrade, when I got this phone, the iPhone 5, and I went into the AT&T store, they tried to tell me, hey, it'd be cheaper. You save yourself a couple bucks if you just downgrade and then just pay per megabyte or gigabyte or whatever kind of bytes you want to you wanna get, just pay that way. I said, no, 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 no. I will never downgrade because I want to have that unlimited data. Even if I got to pay an extra 10 bucks a month of what I would pay, one day I will figure out a way to run the world from a phone. And when I do that, I do not want to be hindered by data. So that's basically what I told him in that voice. And he got kind of creeped out. Why are you talking to me that way? Because I was telling I don't want to be hindered by data. So anyway, iPhone 6 comes out today. What do you guys think? Is it going to be a big to-do? What does it have to offer? I haven't even read up on it mostly. I just know I'm available for an upgrade. And this phone, I haven't even updated. Okay, we're going to talk nerd language here, even though it's probably not even nerd language anymore. It's become kind of layman's terms because everyone these days has a smartphone. So basically, I haven't even upgraded this iPhone 5, the iOS system. I haven't even upgraded to the current version so anytime I try to update an app or download a new app that would actually help me in my travels, I cannot because I have not actually updated the iOS system. So basically I thought to myself, why plug my phone into my iTunes or into the Apple product on my laptop and upgrade it when I could just wait to get the iPhone 6? That's what I'm doing. I'm waiting so I think when I get this iPhone 6, it's going to totally blow my mind because I will be able to download apps that I can actually use. My phone's been running very slow also. For all you nerds out there that know about phones, when I first got this iPhone 5, it used to actually say 3G, 4G, LTE. LTE was the fastest speed for me to use my phone. I haven't been able to go... It hasn't actually showed up in the corner up here as LTE in probably six months the fastest signal I can get anywhere in the U.S. as much as I travel, especially here in Florida or anywhere, is 4G. Why is that? Is it something to do with my settings? I'm confused. I know nothing about this confusing system known as a smartphone. All I know is I'm getting sucked into technology and I'm getting sucked into the hype of the iPhone 6. I know a lot of people do not like Apple products. I don't know anything different. All I know is I have an iPhone now and I'd like to continue using an iPhone because learning new things confuses me. Don't I look confused? All right, let you guys go. Leave some comments about what you think the iPhone 6 is going to be about or do you hate the iPhone? What do you use? Or let's leave some comments about 800 vlogs in a row. I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm pretty committed. Maybe I should be committed into some sort of asylum because who in their right mind would film themselves 800 days in a row without missing a day? This guy right here. I'm probably not going to get the iPhone 6 for a while. Man, they said people have been waiting in line a week. One week waiting in line, sleeping on the streets and in tents to get an iPhone 6. Speaking of sleeping on the streets in tents, that's pretty intense, if you ask me. All right, let you guys go. Check down below for my t-shirts, adamthewoo.spreadshirt.com. There are no tie-dyes on there, so that will excite you, ma'am, because I know how much tie-dye disgusts you. <laughs> Sir, get a regular Adam the Woo t-shirt over on adamthewoo.spreadshirt.com. I need to get myself some Adam the Woo wears as also, and wear them in the video. Adam the Woo wears that he wears in the videos with this new phone, which I probably won't get for another month. But I thought this was a topical vlog for 800 days and topical because the iPhone is big news today. And you know me, loving to talk about the big news, which I never rarely do. So consider yourself lucky. All right, have a great day. See you guys. Also, 
You want to get a hold of me? Do you want to get a hold of me? Check down below. Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Or if you're on your smartphones, as we're talking about smartphones, and you can't see down below, if all you're seeing is me, once you get done watching this video, go to Facebook backslash The Daily Woo. Find me on there or add me on Twitter, add the Woo on Twitter. Go to Instagram, add in the Woo on Instagram, and say hello. Say hello to me in that voice exactly in that cadence. That's all I'm asking. Bye.